So, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Age Taurus list here. I'll have you know it is Christmas Day, and I'm doing my lists as we're driving to in-laws at Amy's parents' place. Uh, my last list of the day is coming up. How long? How far away are we? 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Right on time. You'll love my yearling list. One hour long. The longest video I may have ever done since the inception of the stable.ca was your grading of your yearlings this year. Very good job. Uh, so now here we're back with the aged horses. We're going to bring some aged horses on. I told Amy, a lot of good looking horses in the January sale. I might make a list today of horses I'm interested in. But uh, taking the sale very seriously. So as soon as we get the Christmas stuff out of the way and everything settles down, I want everybody to start thinking about what they'd like to do in January. I'm looking at maybe, I'd love to get another horse like Locatelli or even a pacing horse like that. I know a lot of people are asking for that type of pacer. They are out there. There are some very interesting prospects in the January mix sale. So have a look for yourself if you want. We can talk about it. But I will need to know who wants to be involved and not. I'm not going to go there and spend a bunch of money because the age sources are a little different. Can't race them until they're paid for. So it's not like I can just take weeks to sell out shares. These will have to be items that we have virtually prepaid heading into that sale. Food for thought. Brave World's out for another three weeks and then we bring them back into the field. You just need to rest. 31, 32, three starts, something like that. Compass Rose DC drew great. Eight hole at Northfield. Seven hole in the first leg of the series. She finished fifth. Eight hole in the second leg of the series. Pretty unfair to this filly. Um, you should slow down because you don't want to get pulled over by the police. That happened to me last the other day. Not a good feeling. Not a good feeling. I'll have you know that I have retained the barrister. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Compass Rose DC drew eight this week. Uh, drew eight this week in um, Northfield Park. Uh, don't believe me, just watch. Comes back in in a few weeks also. Desperate need of a rest, and we gave it to him. Um, Globe Trotting coming off a pretty powerful performance the other day. Now, it was the lowest class. Okay, I get that. But she can get to the highest class. We're not talking about a middle of the road horse that looked okay. We're talking about. And I'm telling you right now, a top class trotter that will get there eventually and stay there. Just, I was worried that she needed a rest and she certainly didn't look like a horse that needed a rest the other day. Her liver count is still high, but it's coming down. Jason's doing a great job, her and Cindy, a great job with those horses, getting uh, getting their liver counts down best they can. Globe trotting in Monday. Can't wait to see her race. We did make that shoeing change. I said we were going to just put a little bar through the middle of the shoe. What, what I call, and I don't know why, I call them pin bars. A blacksmith at some point must have called them pin bars. So picture a normal horseshoe and then right through the middle of the shoe, not this way, but this way, right through the middle of the shoe, about an inch uh, an inch away from the heel, put a bar through there. So if you put egg bars on, sometimes they'll catch them. It changes their gait quite a bit. I feel personally that that bar through the middle changes their gait a lot less, but at the same time um, still provides the stability the horses need. Globe trotting's feet do bother from time to time, and I really hope, get at it. I really hope that uh, that bar helps her out because she, she, as I said, when we get this filly right, look at uh, this mare, I guess. Hi, yeah, no fear. It's been a flop since we bought him. Was good his first start. Then he made a couple of breaks and he got sick and then he made a break and his liver jumped and it was just a mess. So we hit reset with this guy, turned him out. I would like to say he'll be back in a few weeks, but as I told Carol at the firm, I want him back when he's fat. Give me a call when he's fat. If that's a month or two months, so be it. That's when I want high gear off your back. Stonebridge Simba, seven hole at Northfield this week. Not a great spot to be. This is an interesting horse. I said this in uh, in Jason's video. We can race this horse anywhere. If we're not happy with the classes we're getting at Northfield, there's Dover, there's Plain Ridge, there's uh, Ontario, there is everywhere. We in Illinois, Chicago, we can race them wherever we want. Stonebridge Simba is still going to do a lot of good for us. Swans Honey. My bad. I told you she'd win her next start. She would have. Easily. I hooked the wheel coming out of the turn. Paul come out. I come in. What what we would call as drivers 50-50. Um, and I guess it could have been. I guess I could have let her out, but I was trying to keep her straight and drive forward. Uh, my bad. She was easily a winner. She finished second. She'll pound that class as long as they let her. And then where we race her will be up to her. I think she could easily race at Mohawk. I love this mare. Both those new horses we got. Tour de Lindy and Swan Sunny. I love them both. Uh, White Tigers buried on Monday again in the open. He had to make that shoeing change on him. Jason has to make that shoeing change also. Aluminums to full swedges is a considerable shoeing change. It has to be has to be earmarked on the racetrack. When did you do that? 
Um, I'm going to text him right now just to make sure he doesn't forget. So, White Tiger, a little shoeing change. Interested to see how he's going to race on Monday. Tour de Lindy before White Tiger. Sorry. Uh, just love this oh, horse. I was supposed to turn there, but I Oh, I know. If we only had brakes on the car. right behind me. Oh, so right behind you. Is he in an invisible car? You could have pulled over with a blinker. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> we're literally a quarter of a mile away from where we were supposed to turn and county, in case anybody's wondering. Now, I'm going to pull over a you gotta pull into that driveway. Yeah, I'm letting this guy go by. And you're on a hill too. I'm gonna give Amy a C minus on this maneuver she just pulled. Okay, well it's really foggy. Really foggy. You grew up around here. I'm just saying. It's Christmas. Love you. Uh Tour de Lindy. Very nice horse. Raced great last week. Yeah, I thought he should have got the win, but I think he's got a lot more to offer this horse. I think here. we got him. Uh, one full mile and counting. Well, where do you want me to do? Here. There. Is there a driveway? No, there's not a driveway. You're going to pull into the ditch. And I can't there. see. It's a driveway right here. There you go. Now, I would back into the driveway. I am. Okay, just trying to help you out. Uh, so, Tour de Lindy has been very, very good um, off and on this year. He had, I'll be honest, he had a problem with the bleeding. I see if you look back, way back when... He had bled badly in one line. They had to give him some time off, brought him back. We haven't really seen that or experienced that with him. So I think you're going to see him get better and better and better. I like how he trotted. If you look how he trotted in the final, he looked terrible in the final. He looked much, much better the other day. I like the way we got him hung up, and I like this horse a lot. I think it would be good. I'll stop short of saying he'll win this week because there are some killers in there. It's a tough bunch in that class, but I think he'll give a real good account of himself. And then, uh, obviously, we jumped over to Locatelli again. Race great the other day for me. Obviously, I didn't get him away as good as I wanted. It's on me from the rail. I didn't want to put him on the run. And I just didn't get off on the best foot and ended up getting away sixth. Worse than getting away sixth was ending up racing at Mohawk where no one likes to move their horses. You're first over into the horses you have to beat. It wasn't a great race, not a great trip. Was that not it there? Yeah. Okay. I don't worry about it. I'm sure that thing would be all right. You didn't pack it very good. Oh, I didn't know we were going to go on, a, on an off-roading adventure. Uh, so Locatelli um, raced. What was that? Is that the treats? Can you pick that pick plate it. up, honey? Uh, so Locatelli, we're just dealing with a disaster here in the trunk. Ava, Locatelli raced great make it last flat. week. I have my book. Put your book down, I Ava. There, you got a book marked down. Um, and yes, uh, raced awesome, was a winner last week in 154 and 2. And then um, favorite to win the open. Favorite to win the open. Uh, you read that many pages already? Good for you. Um, yes, won the open last, or won the two classes from the top last week, but his pick to win the open, I'll be honest, I, I don't want to rub salt in anything, but I don't think he can win. I mean, uh, that horse of Chris Lems' winning shadow is a monster. He, he is a better horse than yes, I think, just by a tick, especially when he's on his game. He certainly looked like he was on his game the other day. The problem with leaving the, uh, leaving in the middle like that, you have two horses, pure, pure country or pure chance. No, pure country was a mare that Mark drove. Pure chance is going to be coming out of there. So you got to leave hard enough to either put them in behind or let them go or let them go and remove. Well, you're not removing on winning shadow. That's not happening. And I don't know if you can remove on pure chance. So I'd love to see Ronnie let this horse roll out of the gate, stuff Aaron in behind. You're going to have to let Chris go, sit in the two hole, and I just don't see yes popping out of the two hole and running down um, winning shadow. I don't. But we'll see. That's why we race. He's coming off a great mile. He's a good horse, and he's going to do us a ton of good. I'm so happy to have this horse back to real good. Uh, just a great feeling. we got a good bunch of horses, everybody. Aged horses, three-year-olds, two-year-olds, and obviously yearlings. I couldn't be happier than I am right now, especially since we're back on the right road.